Good morning, and uh, I'm continuing our reading and study through the book of Ephesians, and uh, we're in chapter 1, and I'm going to pick up where I left off in verse 6, and uh, I mentioned the fact is that in verse 6 it talks about, Paul talking about those that are believers, those, and this is by the way written to believers, and so uh, the things that he's revealing to us apply to, to us who, are, who have received the Ruach, who are part of the family of Yahuwah, and uh, he is making a declaration here that we in verse 6 of chapter 1 he says that we are accepted in the beloved you know I don't I don't know about you but it's comforting and good news to me to know that I'm accepted before my Heavenly Father now I'm accepted not because of my own works or actions that I have done but it's because I have believed his word I have trusted in his plan of salvation which is through the Mashiach whose name is Yahusha HaMashiach, that's what the Savior's name is in Hebrew, is Yahusha, and uh, Mashiach, it means Messiah, um, or Savior. And so he is Yahusha HaMashiach, the Messiah. And we believe that he was sent by the Father to be the Savior of the world, as the Scripture declares. For Yahuwah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, that means anyone, Whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. <laughs> and it says that we're accepted in the beloved. Now, verse 7 says, in whom we have redemption. Now, redemption means that we've been brought back. There was a price that had to be paid for your redemption. And that was that the shedding of, the scripture says, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. And that's why the Mashiach had, the Messiah had to die. He had to shed his blood for the forgiveness of sins and also not only for the forgiveness of sins that you and I could be uh, given eternal life, given the Ruach HaKadosh and that we as could be now children of Yahuwah brought back into the family of Yahuwah by the blood of the Mashiach, of the Messiah. And he says here in, in verse 7, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Now let me say this about that. You know, as I've already stated before in, in other teachings that I've done, is that uh, the redemption and salvation is much more than just forgiveness of sins. Let me explain what I mean by that. Is that there had to be a change in your nature. You, that's why you had to be born from above or born again and not just forgiven. See, if you were just a forgiven person, in other words, if you who would just say, hey, I forgive you of your sins because you, you say you repent and you ask forgiveness, but see, that's it's it. In order for you to enter the kingdom of Yahuwah, there has to be an inward change in your heart. That you have to have a new spirit. You have to have you have to be born again. That's what Yahusha said in John chapter three. Unless you're born again, you'll not enter the kingdom of Yahuwah. So again, I want you to see that. <clears throat> see, if there was no change in you, in other words, if if you were just forgiven, a forgiven say sinner. When you died, if you you know if you were to actually go to heaven, you'd have to have forgiveness there because you still be, would be still acting like a sinner. <laughs> because why? Your nature had there was no change in who you were. You were just forgiven. You understand the point I'm trying to make? Is that uh, there had to be a change on the inside? That's why Paul wrote in Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seventeen, that therefore if any man be in Mashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Now again, the new, what he is making reference to, not your outward flesh, but he's talking about the inward man, the hidden man of the heart, as, as he wrote, as Peter wrote for, uh, in First Peter chapter, I believe chapter three, uh, but talks about the hidden man of the heart. Uh, and, and he, all, Paul also writes in Ephesians chapter four here, in verse twenty-three, he says and that you put on the new man which after Yahuwah is created in righteousness and true holiness, or the word actually, the word actually means set apartness, that we're set apart, that, this, that we're to put on this new man. Now, now, now what he's saying is that this new man lives on the inside of you and I, but we need to put him on to let him be displayed in our lives. Put on the new man, which after Yahuwah, notice, I love this, which after Yahuwah is created. I love the word there, created. So you understand that salvation and redemption is a process of what Yahuwah has done. You, you've been recreated. <laughs> you 
You're not the same person if you've been born of the Spirit. Now, you still, may, you still have temptations in your flesh. You still have tendencies towards sin because of your flesh. But on the inside, there's a new man that exists that desires to please Yahuwah and all that you do. And we're waiting now for the adoption to be complete, the redemption of our body, where you'll no longer have to struggle with the dictates of the flesh. I'll pick this up on our next session. And thank you for your joining me this morning. I love you. Yahuwah loves you. Shalom.